JC, just we'll start with you. Um, obviously, it's, it's alumni day, and a lot of former players here. Uh, and we, what did it mean to you to be able to come out and play in front of them? And you know, how much did that make you really want to? You guys really want to put on a good show today? I mean, it's obviously very important because uh, just we can just tell just from being around them the little bit that we are how important this program is to them. And me, like me as a senior, I've seen them repetitively, so it's nice to see them. And you want to put on a good show for them and show them that. We're still continuing that tradition here. Um, well, then, just to, for starters, um, take me back into that first half. Uh, you know, the first quarter it goes really well. What, in your mind, what was kind of the, the offensive struggle for you guys in that second quarter? Obviously, the, the shots just kind of dried up there for an extended period of time. Yeah, I felt like our, I don't know if it was our confidence, maybe our just ag aggressiveness and our, our energy levels kind of dropped a little bit in a second for some reason. And that's kind of been like our pattern. We have a good five minute stretch, not so good five minute stretch, but. That second quarter was just our stretch this game, so it was important that we came out in the second half and turned that around, I feel like we did. Morgan, um, kind of similar along those lines that first half, you know, rebounding, obviously, something you guys like to hang your hats on, so to speak. And, and in that first half, uh, I think maybe even led the rebound margin a half. It was really, really close. Um, was there something consciously you guys, though, went to change in the second half to try to even that out and work that back in your favor? Yeah, I mean, I think it was obvious the first couple minutes we were all over the offensive glass and we felt the energy in the building, you know, and then the second half we kind of dropped off and I think we kind of did a self-check at halftime and we're like, we need to get back to that because when we're doing that, good things happen on both ends of the floor. And also just uh, offensively, what did you like more about the way you guys executed in the second half, especially in that fourth quarter? Obviously, it was still relatively tight, kind of working in the last couple minutes of the third onto the fourth. What really, what do you think really changed for you guys? Uh, I think we just took care of the ball tonight. I mean, we valued it, and um, we were playing just in a, a motion pass and cut, and we had a lot of freedom, and we were just really feeling each other and making plays. And one more for each of you. Um, Washburn Turnpike Tussle, um, Senior Day coming up uh, on Tuesday. Uh, you know, what are you looking forward to, Chance, to, to get to see uh, out of Ichabod the second time on, on next week? Well, as I always say, that game is a huge game um, for everyone, the whole community, especially our team. And for that to be Senior Night, you know, JC's last Turnpike Tussle, um, it's going to be a great opportunity for us to go out there and just try and <coughs> try and put a beat down on them. JC, same thing, uh, you know, another ch one more chance at, at Washburn. Yeah, I'm excited to play in front of our crowd. We had to go up there the first time, so. Jory, kind of almost a tale of two different halves, but ultimately your, your gals uh, kind of collected themselves and found a way to pull it out. Yeah, I, I thought we played great. Not great. I thought we played well for three quarters. I thought the second quarter was a letdown, really similar to the other night. Uh, we got off to a really good start. I thought we had a lot of energy. First five minutes of the game, I thought we were moving um, with some pop and getting offensive rebounds and energized by the building, just like Morgan said. And, uh, we're making plays, just playing faster than they were um, and making some plays. And then the second quarter was a little bit different. We got sluggish. Um, you know, they're, they're down a bunch of people, but they're still so competitive. You know, Rob gets those guys ready to play, and they uh, are so competitive and tough and physical. Um, drew a lot of fouls on our post players, just, just ducking in hard and playing like you're supposed to play. And, uh, our foul trouble kind of limited what we could do and they on the offensive end in the second quarter. Uh, thankfully, in the third and fourth, we were able to get some other people back out there. That was one thing I was wondering is how much did the foul trouble of obviously Tyra, but your bigs in general, you know, Tiana hardly plays there and she gets in foul trouble early. How much do you feel like that kind of took your kids out of the game in the first half and you guys probably had to rally there in the second? Well, I think you can see in the fourth quarter when Tyra is able to play and we play to her that it's a game changer for our team. I mean, when you have somebody that's as efficient as she is on the block and, and scores with the consistency that she does or draws fouls with the consistency that she does, that's a really nice weapon to have. Um, you know, unfortunately, all year long, she's battled fouls um, and she gets some in some silly situations and people attack her because of it and try to draw them. Um, and she's just got to be able to learn to play smarter so she's out there more, which is a game changer for our team. And, and T's probably the next big that we can throw it to and get some things from, and she couldn't stay out there either. Um, you know, Tatum does some great things for us, great length in there, but against physical players, she's not able to just 
you know, maneuver around to get those shots off like, like maybe T can uh, and, or go by people like Tyra can. This offensively, what did you like about the way, you know, last few minutes of the third quarter and you know, into the fourth? I mean, that's when you guys really seem to start clicking and start looking, just looking comfortable out there no matter who you put on the court. Yeah, I thought, you know, we've moved a little bit more to a motion and passing game tonight. Uh, just they play a matchup zone, which is kind of a junk defense. It's hard to prepare for. You don't really know what they're doing. They don't really know what they're doing. They're just clogging it up and, and slowing it down and giving them a chance, which is exactly how they got to play with their lineup. Um, so it's hard to say, hey, we're going to run this and run that and execute like we normally would. Uh, so we just moved the ball tonight. I thought we did a good job just being basketball players and making some plays in space. Uh, where you just got to make a decision, cut to an open area, catch it, and play the game um, without worrying about, hey, I'm supposed to screen here or cut here uh, because that's what the play design is. One more home game uh, for this group, and uh, I believe it's three seniors. Um, you, you've got uh, you know, coming up in your last game in White Auditorium. Uh, just Marissa and JC. Okay. Uh, you know, Marissa, one-year player, uh, came here as a graduate assistant, still doing some graduate assistant work for us. Uh, but playing as well. And then obviously, JC has been a four year player. I don't know. She's got to be coming up on 100 wins uh, as a player in our program if she doesn't have it already. And um, obviously, been part of a very, very successful class. I'm disappointed that JC doesn't get to walk out there with Addie and Kirsty, too, uh, because those guys, those three all came in together and have been phenomenal for us. But, uh, you know, we'll celebrate uh, Marissa and JC on Tuesday night.